Hey everyone, Ryan here. Today, we're diving into a super helpful guide that many of you have been asking for. How to unlock your Samsung device from its carrier lock. Ever felt stuck because your phone wouldn't accept a SIM card from another network? Yeah, it's a common frustration, and not just for iPhone users who get hit with the SIM not supported alert. Android users, we're in the same boat. But here's the good news. I've figured out a bunch of ways to get rid of this network lock. So you can use any SIM card from any carrier, no matter where you are in the world. And while today we're focusing on Samsung, these techniques are golden for any smartphone, across any carrier and any country. So whether you're looking to switch networks, or you're planning to travel, and need your phone to work internationally, you're in the right place. Stick with me, and let's unlock the freedom your phone deserves. Let's get into it. Keep in mind, this information is for those who rightfully own their phone and wish to switch carriers. We strictly discourage any illegal activities, such as bypassing security, on devices that aren't yours. It's important to respect the law and the rights of others. Additionally, our content is fully compliant with YouTube's guidelines and community standards. Now that we've got that covered, let's proceed. It's essential to understand that the unlock services we're discussing primarily operate in first world countries. If you're unable to access these services or prefer not to use them, don't worry, we've got you covered. Every week, we offer 250 unlocks to our viewers. To be in with a chance, all you need to do is like this video, hit subscribe, and drop a comment below with your phone model like Samsung S22, your IMEI number, and your country. That's it. Once you've done these steps, you're automatically entered into the draw. To get started with Carrier Switcher, head over to their website by typing carrierswitcher.com into your browser. Once there, you'll spot a green button. Go ahead and click on it to kick things off. The first thing you'll need to do is provide your name and email. Make sure the email is one you actively use because they'll be sending a confirmation code to it, which is crucial for the process. After your details are in, it's time to select the manufacturer of your device, whether that's Samsung, Apple, or any other. The next step involves entering your device's IMEI number. If you're unsure how to find this, it's pretty straightforward. For most modern phones, you can dial star hashtag 06 hashtag, and the IMEI should pop up on your screen. Once you've entered your IMEI, you'll need to confirm that you agree to the terms of service and that you're not attempting to unlock a device that's been reported stolen. Following this, hitting the continue button will wrap up the initial phase. At this stage, your unlock request is ready and a confirmation email is on its way to you. This email is important because it contains instructions and an access key. This key isn't a one-off. You can use it multiple times for unlimited access to what you need from Carrier Switcher. For guidance on how to use your access key, simply follow the instructions provided in the email. This will ensure you can proceed with unlocking your device smoothly and without any hiccups. Removing the carrier lock from your phone can seem daunting, but there are several ethical and legal ways to achieve this, ensuring you can use your device with any network. One of the simplest methods is directly contacting your carrier. Most carriers will unlock your phone for free or a small fee, provided you've completed your contract or paid off your device in full. It's a straightforward process. Just call customer service, provide some details about your account and your phone, and if you meet their criteria, they'll initiate the unlock process. Another option is using a third-party unlocking service. It's crucial to choose a reputable provider to avoid any scams. These services usually require your phone's IMEI number. For those who've purchased their phone outright or have received it as a gift, you might already be eligible for an unlock without realizing it. Checking your phone's documentation or with the retailer can provide clarity on whether your device is locked and the steps to unlock it. It's also worth mentioning that some phones come unlocked by default, especially if purchased directly from the manufacturer. Phones bought through Apple, for example, often come without a network lock, allowing you to choose your carrier freely. Remember, while exploring these options, staying informed about your rights and the terms of service with your carrier will help navigate the unlocking process smoothly and legally. Thanks for sticking with us through this guide. We hope it's been helpful in unlocking your phone and giving you the freedom to choose your preferred network. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks. And we're not just here to guide you, we're here to engage with you. 
So, if everything worked out for you, or if you have any questions, drop us a comment below. We love hearing from you and are here to help with any follow-up queries you might have. Your feedback drives our content, so let us know what you think.